Our guest today is Bruce Crowder, the Chief Essex Windsor EMS. Welcome to our show, Bruce. Uh, thank you, Robert. Thanks for having me. Well, I, first I want to congratulate you and Essex Windsor EMS. This is uh, Paramedic Services Week, so we, we thank you, but we should not only thank you this week, but all year long. So thank you to you and everyone, all of your staff for all you do for us. No, oh, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated, uh, especially now during COVID-19, but on a on a day-by-day -day basis with the paramedics on a shift-by-shift -shift basis, uh, they step up and above and beyond each and every day. Yep. Yep, definitely. How are you and your family doing during this pandemic? It's uh, it's interesting. So I, my wife and I, we live out in Leamington, and uh, my wife has worked from home for oh, probably two or three years now. So she's pretty used to being isolated at home, whereas myself, I'm a little bit different. Uh, I like to get out and about, obviously, and do things. So it's a change, but uh, we're, we're dealing with it staying home, staying uh, to ourselves, doing the social distancing. I'm the lucky one that drives the uh, short straw. I get to go grocery shopping every week and, and pick that up. Uh, but we're doing pretty well. We live out in the, out in the county a little bit and uh, it's pretty easy to isolate. Excellent. Uh, how has the pande pandemic affected you and the operations at uh, Essex Windsor EMS? Uh, it, it changed. Uh, dramatically it changed 180 degrees in the middle of march 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 10th and 11th is when it all changed when COVID uh um, came into our area um calls changed with the paramedics that uh, each and every time they have to put on their personal protective equipment or otherwise known as ppe so masks and gowns and uh, what else changed is information information flowed at such a rate uh, that we had to get training bulletins not once a day or once a week, but we were doing them almost four or five times a day to keep everybody in, uh, up to speed on what the changes were or, or continue to be with COVID. You mentioned uh, PPE for your staff. How are you doing with your supply? Uh, we're, we're doing good. Uh, I wouldn't say that we're excellent. Um, we have to uh check our vendors and check new vendors and check different opportunities to to gather our pp uh it was in the media that um, very early on we became very innovative where we took some of our disposable sheets and transformed them into gowns uh using brian sportswear out of kingsville uh to get them done and that's now helped we're into that uh, allotment of gowns uh, gowns right now seem to be tough to get uh, but we are getting it as we can and as we shall, but nobody will go without equipment. We've been assured not only uh, by our vendors, but by the government that if we run short, that we're at a critical stage, we can make a phone call and get it. Um, our paramedics for respirators and masks uh, have one of the, the best masks to wear where it's a, it's a half mask, hard mask with uh, filters. We've got an excellent supply of that. Uh, we're not using the N95 type mask. This is a higher standard mask. So we're doing really good on, on PP. Uh, what other, uh, you talked about PPs, but what other, uh, what else have you implemented protocol wise uh, since the start of the pandemic? Uh, so we kind of stepped out of the box a little bit and uh, became a lot more innovative and collaborative. We uh, partnered up with Windsor Regional Hospital, Erie Shores Healthcare, uh, Hotel Du Grace Healthcare, and uh, the Windsor Essex County Health Unit uh, and got some paramedics trained in um, uh, how to swab and test for COVID-19. So we went around to a lot of the long-term care homes, uh, the retirement homes, and now we're moving into the community to uh, test for COVID-19, uh, make it more available because the more we test, the more that we know. Um, and it's been uh, overwhelming since uh, Easter weekend, I believe we did well over 5,000 tests. Uh, and we continue to do that on a daily basis. That's one of the big changes that we've done. Uh, and then just some changes with deployment uh, due to call volume. Um, we've changed up some deployment of some of our resources uh, to meet the need within the community. I was just gonna ask, has, have the number of calls you've received for assistance, have that, has that changed in any way since COVID-19? Yes, it actually changed in the direction that we weren't anticipating and then the direction was it went down. Uh, when we heard about uh, Europe, Italy, China um, and some of the places on the other side of the ocean that call volume for emergency services 
went up and even New York City. Uh, we heard stories in New York City, the, the volumes for ambulance uh, were going through the roof. But here locally and actually around the province, we've seen that the, the volume went down. Here in Essex, Windsor, our volume dropped around 30 to 40 percent. Uh, we are now starting to climb back up. We're not at to the point of pre-COVID, um, but we are getting back up. People didn't want to go to the hospital. I think they didn't call us. So now we're kind of dealing with the uh, boomerang effect. Those people that didn't call us are now sick and they have to go to the hospital. I do remind people that uh, to use our service and emergency room services, leave it for the emergencies, for urgent care, primary care, still to use their family doctor, telehealth and that type of things and leave ambulance and emergency rooms for the emergencies. Yeah, very much so. Uh, what support system do you have in place for the stress of your staff normally and then even more so now during the pandemic? So normally, uh, very good question. We, we have a, a lot of mental health supports for our staff, not, not only just the paramedics, but administrative staff and support staff uh, with our employee assistance program with our peer support program, uh, with uh, some one number to calls and, and websites and applications that staff can use. Uh, when COVID kind of made its head uh, very well prevalent in the region, we immediately ramped up our peer support program. And what that is is paramedics that are trained to help and assist and speak to their fellow paramedics and fellow support staff. So they were ramped up immediately and they're doing weekly telephone calls or weekly check-ins with the staff. What we also have done uh, to help both physically and mentally, we uh, put in doffing station trailers. If anybody has been out around by some of the hospitals, you'll see big, big trailers or containers by the hospitals. And those are for EMS, EMS staff so that when they uh, get done a call, they can uh, take off their protective equipment in a safe manner so they don't cross contaminate. They're also climate controlled with heating and air conditioning. Uh, two weeks ago, we needed heat because it snowed. Uh, this week, we need uh, air conditioning because it's so hot, um, but it is climate controlled. We put in some fridges to keep bottled water cold. Uh, so we have all the comforts and, and understanding that the paramedics are in that equipment for well over an hour, hour and a half at sometimes even more. Uh, so it is very strenuous physically, and then it's also very strenuous mentally. So we have the supports for them in that fashion as well. Looking forward, you know, into some hope for the future. What are you looking forward to when this pandemic is over? Well, I, I think the big thing is just to get out and, and to have the, uh, um, the, the personal touch of uh, meeting with friends and family and not having to keep, we'll still have to keep the six feet distance, I believe. I think that will be a new normal, uh, but meeting more than just, if my wife and I go out, we can only meet with three people. I'd like to meet with a few more people than that, uh, just to have the gatherings, uh, to get out and, and see some different things. Uh, I do like to shop and my wife likes to shop. I don't want her to get out shopping more, but at least uh, be able to get out and shop and get back to the, the new normal. Uh, and, and kind of get out of the tension of COVID. Well spoken. Well, Bruce, thank you very much for joining us today. I want to thank you and all the uh, Essex Windsor EMS staff for everything you do for us. So, you know, thank you very much for that. And, and please stay safe and stay well. Thank you very much. Thanks, Robert. Uh, keep your social distance, stay safe. And uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. That was Chief Bruce Crowder from Essex-Windsor EMS.